I'm James Knox. I'm at the Giro d'Italia for my first Grand Tour. My name is Mikkel frelich Honora and this is my first Grand Tour. It really has like a special feeling for me to be back here in Italy. I did like two seasons of amateur racing here, fell in love with it really. It was quite different from racing in the UK. I recognised some roads throughout the hotel from races I did as an 18 year old. I'm really excited because it's a grand tour in my country where I live. I live in, uh, in Bergamo in the north, near uh, stage 15 finish in Como. It's not so far from there. It's a really great uh, experience for me because I have my Italian girlfriend and, and all the history of this race. It's really a country full of passion for cycling. I'm very proud of being Cumbrian and I think I'm the first Cumbrian to do a Grand Tour. Cumbria is in the very northwest of England. It's a little, little gem really, uh, a lot of lakes, a lot of mountains. What else have we got? We haven't got, we haven't got a lot. There's a lot of sheep. My grandfather was a former cyclist. That's how I really started cycling back in 2004. Um, and afterwards, unfortunately, he, he died. And it's always been something for me special. I wanted to show him how good I can be. And yeah, it's always somebody I think of. I got the call up to do the Giro two weeks ago. For me, it's um, a big surprise, of course, but it's also something I'm really, yeah, really happy to do. Now there's all these things like little moments like doing the first Giro, but that was the big like starstruck moment, like, you know, a, a famous World Tour team that's been around since longer than I've been watching bike races or even could ride a bike, basically, was uh, interested in me and they wanted to sign me. That was really, yeah, took a while to sink in. This is going to be three weeks. It's sort of uh, venturing into new territory. I've done a 10 day stage race before. So in terms of that, it's going to be twice as twice as long as I've done anything else I've done. But the stages itself aren't going to be too different, but there's a lot of long stages and there's some uh, crazy mountain stages to finish. So they, they in particular will be something to dread at the end. Last year in total Lavinia, year, uh, it was, I think, 10 days. So now we, we can double that up. <laughs> Yeah, it's been nice sharing a room with Bob so far. Uh, he's dead easy, dead relaxed, um, and get some nice snippets of information here and there. He's done quite a few Giro's now, so there's hopefully a lot he can teach me. My roommate, uh, Eros, telling me to, to not bring too much stuff and leave the most in the, in the big truck uh, for, the, for the whole race. Bramati, who's already been hammering away at me the importance of rest, 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 rest. And he said something like, I think already the first day I got here was like, if you can get half an hour, more in bed every day, then by the end of the Grand Tour you almost have like a whole day. So, so I think of it like that, I was like, yeah, okay. That's quite good, a little snippet. I think it's a lot about uh, preparing mentally more than physically for this race. It's really hard, of course, physically as well, but especially mentally, it's 21 days on the road every day, um, a lot of stress. I've got quite a few things with me. I've got, I do have a book. 21 problems in the 21st century. I'm pretty bad at reading it. Uh, Netflix does get a bit of a hammering. So does my Spotify account. Those things are quite nice because it doesn't really take too much effort. So that's the thing with a book, like it's nice and I want to read it, but then at the same time, when it comes to it, I'm like, I feel like I need to put it down after only a few pages because I'm already tired. I brought a few good books um, to keep myself entertained a bit. Biographies um, and then uh, some philosophy of uh, Aristotle. So uh, <laughs> I have to say it was my, uh, there was the mother of my girl, Italian girlfriend that told me to bring the book of uh, Aristotle. It keeps, keeps my, my mind for sure busy with something else. Finishing to start off with really, that'll be the first goal. You know, thinking about three weeks is so different. Um, I'm hoping to have some like bright moments where, you know, like handful of days where I might go like I had really good legs and I could do something either as a result or help someone else, Bob or Elia, but there's going to be a lot of hard days as well I imagine where just surviving is going to be enough so put all that together really just to finish with some good moments would be a great achievement. For sure that we came home with a, with a stage victory and, and a good GC position for Bob and that I could pull off my work uh, really good. I think that that would be uh, yeah, the perfect year for me.